Hi, good morning everybody. This is Bala. Um, it's happy to meet you again. Uh, in the last class, we have discussed how to enable a port and uh, do a function that is on and off function uh, by using an ARM 7 microcontroller that is nothing but LPC 2148. So in this session, what I am going to do is, I am going to control two or more ports, two or more ports. That is, last time I have controlled only a single port. Right now I am going to control two ports. So on my next experiment, I will be controlling two and more, ex more ports. Okay. So the steps are same as we seen. So this will, this will be a normal workspace. Uh, again, you have to create a new file. So right now I have to save this file as uh, uh, LED2. So I'm going to have I'm going to control two files, right? So it should be in with an extension LED2.c. Right? So This will be the program. So, uh, we have to compare our previous program, right? So, this is our previous program. So, on that what we have done is, uh, we have controlled the port that is 0 0.5 alone. So, when I am going for two or more ports, I can represent in that, in that way or in this way. So, I am going, I have to initialize a directory, that is nothing but I am going to use my 0th port, 0th port in the sense from 0th pin to the 31st pin so I am having an, uh, that is 0 into an hexadecimal value uh, 0 0 totally it's an 8 bit so how this 8 bit is my value is being controlled right as this will be my port so my port is configured into starting from 0 to 31 I have around 8 bit of value 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so that 8 bit value is nothing but 0000, 0, 0, 0, 0 f, f, f of in the sense it is the lower most uh, least significant bit. So I am going to use f of in the sense, uh, I I am going to use my last ports 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. That is nothing but 8 plus 4, 12 plus 2, 14 plus 1, 15. So my equivalent 15 is my hexadecimal value, right? Uh, my decim binary value is uh, one 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 one. My equivalent hexadecimal value is f. So my value is f f. I'm not going to use this pins. So zero 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 and zero. So I'm going to use only the last eight pins. So only zero 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 f. F, right so i have initialized my directory and also i have said that i will be working on my zeroth port so what we have to do is uh, when my condition my when my uh, controller is on true condition what it does is i was set zero that is it will be setting the value that is nothing but a a we have to know the value of a so hexadecimal a is equal to binary value 1010 so again we have to go for this chart so uh, my value is 1 0 1 0 and again 1 0 1 0 this is nothing but uh, a so what it does is uh, we have to check with this uh, while my microcontroller is on true condition it makes my port that is my second pin eighth pin uh, sorry 
my first pin, my third pin, my fifth pin and seventh pin to a high condition and after a particular uh, time period I have to clear that value so that value will be resetted. So my consecutive values uh, pins will be high and low. So what we have to do is as I already we have to save the program and we have to simulate and I got an error undefined symbol name so uh, yeah I have not yet added the program here you have to add the file my file name is led2.c add that and then you have you, you should compile yeah now I got zero errors and zero warning okay so after that what you have to do is you have to go for the debugging mode so on the debugging mode you will be having some set of values so we have to go for peripherals slow interface 0 as I already said I am going to use from my port 0 to 7 remaining I am not going to use from 8 to 31 so last two bits will be high value F and F so when it took you can see the delay over here right so my alternative pin that is 7th pin uh, 5th pin 3rd pin and 1st pin that will be glowing and off which we have seen in which we have seen here right you can check it out my 7th pin this is my pin number my 7th pin my 5th pin my 3rd pin and my 1st pin right the same output we can check with our um, uh, logical analyzer also so for that what we have to do is uh, we have to check the values in uh, four different conditions so we have to set up uh, I, this is my previous entry so i have to delete that uh, i'm going to get my output on port 0 0.1 uh, port 0 0.3 port 0 0.5 and port 0 0.7 so these are my ports where I am going to get my output so once uh, just uh, so you have to select that all the files uh, that should be in the bit fat this a uh, bit pattern yeah then you close then just minimize the graph So this is my first pin, third pin, fifth pin and seventh pin. So once I start running my program, I will be getting four values. You can just zoom out, uh, sorry, zoom in and you can check the value. You can see that. So my first pin gets activated at the same time. Just you can stop the program. When my first pin is activated, my third pin also get activated, my fifth pin also get activated and my seventh pin also activated. This is the timing that will be the on off on off sequence. So you have to check for the remaining values also you can add the port with that and you can check your out. Right? Uh, so uh, this is nothing but controlling and uh, controlling your uh, LED more than one. Right? So uh, in our next program we will be discussing um, how to embed this with an uh, ProTS. So if the same thing 